Right, everyone, Weapon Collector here. Right, finally got to shoot the adder crossbow today, the, the one with the magazine. So, the first bit of footage you'll see is just myself testing out the standard bolts because I did have a misfire or a dry fire originally. So, I'm just checking them, see how they shoot, check the accuracy, stuff like that. And just see how the crossbow shoots in general. You have to excuse my messy garden. This is about the only position I can get in at the minute to get a good 12 metre distance and not be in full view of all my neighbours. So as you can see, the crossbow is shooting very accurately. I'm shooting at the two main bullseyes and then the small little bullseyes. So when you see the bolt go close to a little target, that's deliberately where it's supposed to go. So that was trying to hit that little target. So yeah, with the standard bolts, shoots very well. I think the dry fire I had initially may have been a damaged bolt because since then I've had no issues with any of the standard bolts. Yeah, shoots very well really. But yeah, the reason I'm going slowly is I just want to check all the bolts are in position properly before I start shooting quickly. One thing I've noticed when shooting this, I do not want to shoot any bolts that don't have perfect flights or veins. If they're slightly damaged, it can create a misfire or dry fire, which will happen to me. Since then, I've been making sure I only use perfectly good bolts. I've not had that issue. So I'll shoot these. I think there's four in here. And we'll see how it goes. Right, so now I'm going to test out some inexpensive AliExpress bolts. So, the first one seemed to shoot okay. And as you'll see now, the second one caught as I was cocking the crossbow. And what it did, it... The string caught part of the knock, and then as it came over it, it made the bolt shoot forward slightly far too far so had i shot it at that point i would have created a dry fire could damage the prod and lots of other things damage the overall crossbow so with the knife i just put the bolt where it should be and checking it there i do not want to do a dry fire again But obviously with a, you know, you, you do want to be safe with these crossbows. That's why I always wear the eye protection. I was even tempted to put the <laughs> crossbow further away from my face, shooting this bolt. But it did actually shoot okay. So yeah, there is a issue with the cheaper bolts that you can buy. It did it again there. And I'll show you exactly the issue in a minute. As I say, what it's doing, initially the string catches the knock, pulls the bolt too far back, so it's actually over the, the trigger mechanism, so it needs to be pushed forward at that point. So yeah, you do want to be very careful shooting the cheaper bolts. What I think you'd need to do is sand the knock, but I'll explain that later. When we um, when I finish the test, so I'll just carry on shooting now and checking. It's just jammed there, so you need to bring it back a little bit. Now I've got to check the bolts in the right place. What's happening is, where the knock is, there's an ever so slight tiny little bump where it's thicker than the shaft. 
So what it does, it catches there. So you then have to release it, which shouldn't, you know, that's going to slow you down. They shoot all right, apart from that. But yeah, the catching. These are the cheap AliExpress bolts. So that one didn't quite catch as much then, but still, that's not right. You won't actually be able to see this on camera, but these ones are completely smooth from there to there. There's an ever so slight bump. No issue there. No issue there. This one. So it's catching, pulling the bolt back. You probably could just sand that, but I don't know. It's definitely an issue with my one anyway.